Okay, we are at 4104 Plumbago, and the home itself is an adorable little exterior on this home, but just so that you will see, these are zero lot line communities. So there is no yard to play in in the front, there is definitely no yard to play in in the side, and this particular house backs right up to the main road, so all that noise is going to be constant all day, because that is the main drag of Hypoluxo. So, those are just a few things that I want you to see up front, only because as adorable as the house is on the outside, um, it doesn't have a lot of room for Laney. Um, the neighbors you'll see are all same thing. We're all right on top of each other. But beautiful as far as the homes go. Um, this is a newer community. It was built in 2001. So I say newer because it's after 2000. But um, let's go walk inside. This house is vacant already. The, the HOA does not maintain or take care of the property. So that $123 um, pretty much just covers the pool service for the common areas for that recreational facility. Um, but the HOA definitely doesn't stand up, um, make the people keep up their properties because that house over there, same thing. So that's just something to be concerned with. It is not a gated community. So you are paying for the association, but there is no gate. And this is your side yard, like I said, this is your neighbor's yard, and that one is your yard. So it's really not. And the pool pretty much takes up your backyard. But I love the stonework. I mean, the house is adorable. When you walk in, it's got a nice open feel. It's got the marble floors with the mosaic. You step down to go with the stairs that way, or you step down to go to your formal living area. Um, so you have a formal living formal dining I mean it's like I said it's a cute little house I mean as far as that goes I wish you just could pick it up and put it somewhere else this is the nook area can't fit too big of a nook table in this specific area just because it doesn't have a ton of room but a cute little one of those little bistro tables that would look really cute there um, the kitchen is uh, mica countertops white cabinets and it does have this extra piece here so that it has the glass doors you know, so that's actually really nice. It does not feel like thermofoil, but it is thermofoil. Nope, it's thermofoil. So, yeah, the kitchen, and it has uh, a coil uh, electric stove. White appliances, but it's a cute little kitchen. You know, it's small, yes, but cute. And then, of course, as you can see, the family room. And we're gonna walk right out here to the pool area. Let's see if I can unlock this. It's not letting me. Let's see. They make these things so difficult. Okay, maybe not. I don't know if I can get out. The pool right now is a little green, but that's just because nobody lives here. Let's see if I can get out this one. This one is an easier door. I like this one better. Hold on. Okay, well, let's go back over here and lock that and come on this side. There we go. So, this is the entire backyard. So, like I said, what an adorable little house. But this is the noise that you would hear all day. We can make the pool blue again, that's not a worry. And then right out here, you can kind of see right there through the bushes, that's the main road. This was a gazebo. Well, it has a ceiling fan. <laughs> but you can just get those new tarps to go over that. It needs a little TLC on it. Like I said, the house is looks like it's been empty for a while. The weeds have grown up all over, but you know, so that's just a little TLC fixing, nothing major. Okay, now we go back here, and we have a bathroom downstairs, so there you go, and we have a laundry room downstairs, just perfectly fine. We have a side entry, two-car garage, 
And there's even a little storage area over here. Oh, they have an outlet for um, hurricanes, so you can have your uh, generator hooked up. A little storage area for what they have is the hurricane shutters and the screens. And it looks like an extra closet door. Okay. Then we go upstairs. The stairs definitely need a little bit of work on them. They're kind of, they're um, warping. So just a little TLC. As we go up the stairs, we have this um, glass block. And then we have a loft up here. So you have this nice big loft area. So this is really pretty. these floors. The master is a large master. You have a walk-in closet. You have a little sitting area over here. And then you have, of course, where the master bed would go. As we walk around, we go into the master bath. It's a private little toilet area. And then, of course, we have the culture marble. We have the cabinets here. And there's me again. Corner tub and a stand-up shower. And then when you go into the other rooms, and again, like I said, the loft area is actually really cute. When you go to the other areas, sorry, 